Well, I'm all done. As you can see, put the last tile in right here. I do have a little bit of cleaning up to do, but nothing major. I had to move some of the tools out of the way so that I could access different parts of the ceiling to get it finished. I'll talk a little bit about how much it wound up costing. The total was just a little over a thousand dollars to get everything done. The things that I had before I started was half the insulation for the ceiling. The R20 bats that I have, what I wound up doing was ripping those in half so that I actually have R10 to 12 above the ceiling, the entire ceiling now. And above that there's a layer of one inch foam, which is R4, and above that there's another layer of R12 bat insulation up in the joist space. So for a total of around 30 to 31 you know, R30 to 31. The fixtures cost $250. Uh, they were regular 60. I got them for 50 because they didn't have the ones that I actually wanted, which were three bulbs. But now that I've got these ones in, I like these better anyway. Uh, wall mold was $42 for all of it. Uh, main tees, $57. Cross tees. For that box of cross tees, I still have maybe 10 or 12 left that I can bring back for a refund that was $150 so that's pretty expensive right there tiles $228 for tiles and that includes getting half price on one box because it was slightly damaged even though I could use all the tiles because I had to make some cuts uh, light bulbs for all of these fixtures there's five I needed 20 light bulbs that was $76 so that was a little bit expensive too. Insulation, I had to buy another bag of insulation like I said to do the second half of the ceiling that was $57. Now as for the results I'm very happy with the amount of light that I have now. It's a lot more even, it's a lot brighter in areas that were really dark before. Also, I'm just going to move this so I can move back a little bit. Also the sound is better I think. It's more even throughout the shop than it was before. I've got like a crisper high end now because the futon that I had on the ceiling was absorbing a lot of the high frequency sound. I'm getting a little bit more reflection now which is good but it's still it's killing the echo completely. I've got no reverb left in the room. Not worth mentioning anyway. So overall I think it was a pretty good investment of the $1,000. I wind up with a shop that's probably going to be more comfortable to work in certainly sounds better, certainly looks better going forwards for what I do which is making videos primarily so I have to cater to that. Just got to move my tools back to where they belong. One problem that I still have is the amount of backlighting that I'm getting from the window in the door and these two windows here and I'm thinking about making shutters to cover those for when I'm doing video and that will improve that quite a bit because what it does is it when I set the exposure on the camera to manual it will wash out all the details on the walls when I set it to auto like it's on right now the picture appears dark even though I've got all this light in the ceiling you will still wind up with a darker image. So this video will be out tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to come out here and fully clean up the workshop to make it ready for my next projects. I think my next project will be blinds for these windows so that I can limit the amount of sunlight that comes in when I need to and still open them up when I want the sunlight coming in. I mean it's nice to have natural light if it's not screwing with your camera.